Well, this is it, an occasion of true grandeur. The date has been ringed in red for months now, and the stage is set here on the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. My name is Derek Ray, my co-commentator to help describe all the action is, of course, Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the magnificent Estadio Metropolitano. It is Aberdeen up against Celtic. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? This is how the starting lineup looks today. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. So we can check on the lineup today. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Cham, it is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a top. Well, he analyzes it, you know. I think he'll feel he shouldn't have taken on the shot from there. Well, he definitely shouldn't have done. The angle's all wrong. He's got to look for other options. Is he going to punish them here? Now, what can he do here? Well, let's see, does he mean business? Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Brown. Will there be a tangible end product? Can they get themselves in front here? Surely. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Well, he knew what he was doing defensively with the concession of that throw-in. And Cham has the ball. Forrest. Carrying a genuine threat here. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Well, can he make this move count? A poor cross, all things considered. He hears the footsteps and feels the pressure. And dispossessed. Let's see what he has in store for them. Is he going to punish them here? Scott Brown. That's how to rob them of possession. And cleared away. He's given it away. He has plenty of support. Now, oh, what can he do here? Can they take the lead? And it has arrived! The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Nil then. Brown. Now Tolian. James Forrest now. They've given it away. They've given it away. 
all about translating threats into goals. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Clattered away. Given away. And given away. Brown. Now Tolian. They're trying to get right into his face. Well, let's see. Do running towards goal. One man to beat. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Brown. And Edouard with it. The emphasis is on passing the ball forward. Now, what can they do from here? They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Real chance. And the goal gaping at him. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Hudson Edouard. Tierney. Callum McGregor giving the ball to the opposition that time. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Given away. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. He's played it short here. He's in with a chance. Carrying a genuine threat here. And that is offside. Given away. And there's the whistle. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Brown. James Forrest now. And that will be a corner. And over comes the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, he certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. It's with Tolian. They're succeeding in finding forward gears, but will they produce from this position? Let's see. And whipped into the box. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. And the keeper's given it away, inexcusably. Brown. Strong tackle. Half an hour remaining then. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Now, what could he do here? And it might be. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? 
Can they convert? Can they slot it home? And the danger clear. Throw-ins given. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. And the defender takes care of business. Well, let's see, does he mean business? An authoritative challenge. And give it away. And Scott Brown. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Carrying a genuine threat here. Well, he analyses it, you know. I think he'll feel he shouldn't have taken on the shot from there. Well, he definitely shouldn't have done. The angle's all wrong. He's got to look for other options. Will there be a... Can they square the game? Well, it was a horrific mistake, but the goalkeeper has made amends. Well, he's a happy boy now. Just look at the smile on his face. Two minutes ago, he wasn't so happy. Effective challenge. And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job. Get behind the ball and save it. Is he going to punish them here? And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Running towards goal, one man to beat. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's OK shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Translating threats into go Oh, he's knocking on the door. Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Given away. Hudson Edouard. Only 10 minutes remaining here. He has plenty of support. Now, what can he do here? Can he put it away? Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. He's given it away. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. They've lost it. It's with Sinclair. away now can he make this move count opportunity it is it's got to be no worries for the keeper Scott Sinclair here's McGregor it's with Sinclair, full time, and the issue has been settled. One team crestfallen, the other jubilantly. Well, there's winners and there's always losers. Fine margins between the two. Expectation wins nothing, Derek. You've got to go out there and seize the moment. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, you have to enjoy it because it passes so quickly. And they know what comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big ears. Well, you just think how many games they played this season as well. 
all that's in the past now. The game that's just happened was the most important one. They're all poised. The Champions League winners in 2019. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment, Derek, sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019.